Thanks for being with us. Monday. Monday. Another Monday. I feel like we were just celebrating Friday, and here we are. I know. It flew by. A uh, little bit of snow last night. Am I shorter than you I today? Feel, I feel Wait, tall. On. How do I get up here? I can't. I, maybe I can lower it. Although, watch <laughs> me just fall on TV. <laughs> Live TV. <laughs> Wait, oh no, I don't, I don't down? know how to fall. I don't know how to make this happen. Well, here we are. So, this is appropriate yes. anyways, isn't it? Because <laughs> I am much shorter than you. <laughs> you can just do some slouching. Um, so I, I'm at home yesterday, and I knew that it was supposed to start snowing. But I looked right. out the window. I could not believe how quickly that snow was coming down yesterday. Yeah, I left my dad's in Armstrong County at just the right moment. Because it started snowing, and by the time I got to Pittsburgh, I was glad I was pulling into the driveway. Because it really accumulated quickly. It really did. And now we're talking about rain, which which, you know, Ron says you never want both. You want either all snow or just rain. Right. You never right. want the combination where temperatures are kind of in the middle. So we'll have to check in with him. Yeah, we'll check in with him a little bit later on. So how was your weekend? Oh, I had a lot of fun this weekend. Got some things done. We got bunk beds for the girls. Oh. And we had something else fun to talk about. But um, I want to hear about your, your toilet adventures. Uh, yeah, I mean, this maybe doesn't. It sounds risque, <laughs> doesn't it? No, it's not. You Does, fixed your toilet. I fixed my toilet. And I was so, I'm so thankful to our producer, Jill. I know it doesn't seem like I had a very exciting weekend if I'm starting with a picture of my toilet tank. However, look huh, at this. This okay. is a trick. So on the chain there, mm -hmm. so the flapper didn't always go down. I mentioned that on last week's show. And, um, and Jill said, we'll put a straw over the, the chain and then that way it keeps it from, from uh, hooking up and, and, and clumping up. And, and so anyhow, it flushes perfectly. I don't have to stand there listening to see if the toilet oh, uh, the is still worst. running. So thank you, Jill Neely. Oh. Yeah, and I also have another picture I want to share because I actually did have some fun this weekend too. Aside we, from fixing your toilet. Aside a feeling of satisfaction over that. Uh, but we went over to our friends Gary and Stevens for dinner and their dogs, Max oh. and Molly, miniature schnauzers, I love these two, so I had to take a picture. Max of that. and Molly, Max like partners and Molly. for life, huh? Yes. <laughs> Sounds like good names. Okay, yes. so, all right, here's what we did. I was talking about this last week. Yeah, I'm excited about this. Okay, to hear how it so went. So we had the uh, You Jag Off podcast. Um, a couple of laughs was the contest. There were three couples, including me and my husband Frankie. Right. And um, let me tell you, we were in dead last place. We were not winning, but we've <laughs> been married the longest. We've been married the longest. And so they ask you what questions about your spouse? Yeah. So I would leave. He would answer. Okay. You know, so so right, the couples fun. took turns on the stage. So first the women were on stage answering, then the men were on stage answering, and it was actually so much funnier than I thought it would be. It was so, it was so much fun, and this was a benefit for the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. So it was a good it was a good time for a good cause. Um, so we're in dead last place. Uh huh. Final round of the competition is lip syncing, and they and pull up. And that's where you came through. Yes, we didn't know what song that they were going to play. We had requested "What's Love Got to Do with It" by Tina Turner. Okay, good one. That's not what we got. This is what we got. There's a little dancing, too. <laughs> I'll watch Frankie get into it. I love this. I don't even know what I'm doing here. <laughs> oh, no. It's like Olivia Newton-John all over again. Uh, is that what we're seeing? Way to go, Heather. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so it was by round of applause who won this. Uh-huh. And we did not win. Oh. Okay. Oh. Yeah, we didn't know what we were doing. So then I said, no fair, our song was Tina Turner with Love Got To Do With It. So had we had that, we would have won this round. They played it. Frankie, instead of lip syncing, actually did a solo oh, and started insane. Tina Turner, What's Love Got To Do With oh, It. Oh, did you video that? Not yet. Okay. Well, I know it's out there. <laughs> Someone has that video. I know. Right, when we find so, that, we're going to all show all of you Frankie singing. Tina Turner. 35 points great. for that round. So you, you did you win? Can so you say? with that, because Frankie sang, he, he got us the W because of that. That's awesome. Way so to go, kudos Frankie. To him. Yeah. But we should leave the singing to the professionals, and that's exactly what happened last night at the Grammys. Yeah, did you have a chance to watch the Grammys? No. Okay, yeah, you go to bed very early. I, got, I, got I saw just highlights. a little bit of it. Uh, but, but one local group, or a group of the local connection, did very well last night. Dan and Shay, oh, if you were so Dan and Shay fans, uh, you know Dan is from Wexford originally, went to North Allegheny, mm -hmm. also went to CMU, and uh, they performed last night. They also so won a Grammy. So Let's exciting. listen in here. When I taste tequila, baby, I still see a gun with the floor. So excited.
exciting for them. Yeah, congratulations to them. They won for best duo group performance for this song, Tequila, uh, and, and that's fantastic. It was a big night for them all over social media, so it was good to see. A lot of people were talking, too, before the Grammys, especially here in Pittsburgh, about Mac Miller being sure. nominated for Best Rap Album. Um, I, I believe his parents were there, and so a lot of people were waiting to see if he would take home this. This was his first Grammy nomination, and of course, uh, he lost his life uh, back in August from an accidental overdose. So mm -hmm. um, this was something that a lot of eyes were on to see what would happen here. And Cardi B actually wound up winning for Best Rap Album, which is also kind of a big deal because she is the first solo woman to win in that category. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. But a lot of people talking because Ariana Grande took to Twitter. Yeah, she started this. talking about this on Twitter saying, you know, to have his parents come out and mm -hmm. then for him not to win, she, you know, that, that uh, a little right. bit. And you understand that uh, at the same time to, to have him be nominated for that album yeah. for swimming. Um, I think that's fantastic and we should be proud of that yeah. yeah and they dated for some time there so and those tweets actually she took them down oh she did she took them she down removed afterwards those tweets all right afterwards, so she thought had second thoughts um you know, we also wanted to uh, give a shout out to the pittsburgh symphony orchestra Aww. because they were nominated we mentioned this a while ago on ptl and uh, mm -hmm. they were up they did not win last night they were nominated in two different categories the boston symphony uh ran away with it last night but they were nominated and that is indeed something to be proud of it is and they actually won in those categories last year yeah so you know so they have their grammys they have them That's a good at least thing. they have those right <laughs> Christina Aguilar also up for best rap performance, but that went to Childish Gambino. I, mean, I love Christina Aguilar. I remember listening to her growing up. Yeah. I loved her. She's still, I mean, she's still around. Still <laughs> love her. Go, uh, Christina. All right. Uh, in other news, uh, we wanted to talk about uh, another star, another Pittsburgh connection, because this star was in town over the weekend uh, from this. the Big Bang Theory, talking about Maya Bialik. Did I say her name right? You did. Okay, I nailed it. Uh, she is Amy on the Big Bang Theory, and she was in town this weekend. Uh, she was invited by the Jewish Federation of Greater Pittsburgh for an event, and she loves Pittsburgh. She may want to move to Pittsburgh, which this is great to hear. This was so much fun looking at this on Instagram. She uh, posted on Instagram a picture of her. She went to Casbah for I love Casbah, yeah. yeah. Who doesn't love lo brunch at Casbah? And the best <laughs> part of this, I have to say, is the hashtag, I want to move here. Yes. So she loves our city so much that she wants to move here. Whether or not that actually happens, I guess, is yet to be determined. You are but. welcome to move here. Pittsburgh would embrace you. Okay, so not long after it. this post on Instagram, she then took to Instagram yeah. again. So things went south. Yeah. Yeah, n n not, not here though. Not here. No, this was uh, was this in Houston where she. This was her in Houston. Yeah. Okay, so she arrives to go back home to LA on a connecting flight out of Houston. Trip turns sour though when she says the airline crew shut the boarding door in her face, saying there was no mm. room for her carry-on suitcase. She says there were five other people allowed to board after her with luggage so she was very upset about this situation yeah united is saying it was able to get her on another flight and mm -hmm. is looking into what happened in houston but you know once you put it out there on, on uh, social media it's out there it's interesting so. how many people take to social media when things happen and go wrong yeah. on airlines it's true. And it gets well, a lot of attention. I mean, you're sitting there kind of aggravated in the airport, obviously, and you got your phone with you, and you can see how one thing leads to another. Mm -hmm. yeah. A lot of reaction to something that happened on uh, Delta Airlines. This is a oh, marketing yeah. campaign between Diet Coke and Delta kind of backfired, although some people actually thought it was cute and clever. Well, sort of. It's, it's nice to try something yeah. new, I guess, so they did. So they created these <laughs> napkins suggesting that airline passengers write down their name and their phone number on the napkin and give it to their plane crush. They say this is a way of flirting. The idea is being blasted by some social media users saying it's creepy. But again, other people said that they actually thought it was kind of cute and they liked it. So, so what they said on the front of the napkin is because you're on a plane full of interesting people and hey, you never know. I mean, I'm kind of the believer in, yeah, you never know who you're going to meet and maybe yeah, be well, open-minded. You could also meet a serial killer on the plane. There is that Just too. Saying. You never know. Yeah. Because know. you never know. <laughs> but it, it was something new they wanted to try to kind of make a friend, you know. 
perhaps. Wow. We want Selena Pompiani to make a friend. Yes, in fact, uh, today is, do you realize this? It is make a friend day. Yeah. Uh, it is also a bunch of other things. I don't know who decides what day is what day, but look at this. Today is inventor's day, white shirt day, don't, I have a white shirt on, don't cry over spilled <laughs> milk day. Every day should be that day. No one should ever cry over spilled milk. Peppermint patty day and, and make, make a, a friend fr day. So I jumped the gun here, but this is why I mentioned Selena Pompiani because yes. we couldn't combine all of these but we had some fun I think last week we have the peppermint patties we had some fun yes. last week trying to think of some fun things we could do to Selena so here's what <laughs> yeah we, we send her on these assignments like should we send her to a dairy farm don't cry over spilled but what could we do to Selena today so here's what we decided we're gonna combine two of these national days we're gonna combine peppermint patty day and make a friend day we sent <laughs> Selena Pompiani over to Market Square armed with Peppermint patties. Many, many peppermint patties <laughs> to pass out and hopefully make a friend. Selena, how's it going? <laughs> Heather and David, you know what? We talked to a few people, pretty quiet right now in Market Square, but we are celebrating two very important days. As you mentioned, a list of things going on today, including National Make a Friend Day, which I am planning to do here in Market Square, and National Peppermint Patty Day. This is cool because if you didn't know, the York patties are made, of course, right here in Pennsylvania, originated in York, PA, and now Reading. But we're hoping to make a lot of new friends in Market Square. I am fortunate that I have so many amazing friends already in my life, but there is always room to make more. So I think some cool things I could do, of course, give some compliments. I'm going to be real friendly. I'm going to make smiles. But I think giving away these free York peppermint patties is really going to help me out in making some new friends. So I'm hoping to entice some people over here and make some new BFFs today. So we'll see who I run into. Oh, I who can't would, wait. Who would not want to be friends with Selena Pompiani? Maybe somebody is watching this and they're going to come over to Market Square to meet you. Yes. Well, she's there with peppermint patties for the taking. So. so come on down, everybody. <laughs> All right, we're going to check in with Selena a little bit later on, and I'm sure she will be swarming with friends. Uh, well, I don't know if you heard the squawking going on, but our pet of the week, not dogs, not no. cats, but parrots. Parrots. <laughs> yes. And we will also get some magic with Michael Misko. That's all ahead as well. First, though, after the Grammys comes the Oscars. Find out how you can walk a red carpet just like the Hollywood stars, but right here in Pittsburgh. We will have that coming up. Plus, how to rock her world with diamonds for Valentine's Day. What you need to know when picking out diamonds from cost, cut, and color. Mm. And while the snow may be gone for now, winter, well, it's not finished with us yet. Ron Smiley is coming up with the forecast. Stay with us on PTL. And thanks for being with us on this Monday, February 11th.